Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy CMB. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's get into this one really quickly. All right guys, so I'm actually not at home right now. I'm actually out in Mexico and uh, I'm doing this video impromptu. I, I really wasn't gonna do much, but I thought I'd come on here uh, because I saw the stuff on, on Twitter uh, with Javante Tank Davis uh responding uh to a fan uh about the situation with floyd money mayweather jr now you guys know tank davis is set to face off against uh hector luis garcia uh january 7th uh for his tune-up match which honestly guys i don't think that's a tune-up match uh hector luis garcia is a dangerous fighter and uh i'm surprised javante tank davis picked such a difficult fight before going into a mega fight uh, with Ryan Garcia, which is a done deal uh, according to both parties. Uh, Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia are supposedly going to meet up uh, in April in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, guys. So uh, looking forward to that. That's a big fight and I think it's going to be a very successful fight if Javante Tank Davis gets past Hector Luis Garcia. Now, the stuff I want to talk about, I want to read these tweets. Uh, don't, don't want to read the guy's name who tweeted this out, but I'm going to read what he said, and then Tank Davis is going to respond to him. So, so he says, Tank Davis has two fights lined up next year, and the boss hasn't mentioned anything about it. So then Tank says, because the love was gone when I knocked Roly out. Crazy thing, I was at my mom's house the other night. She told me how Leonard, referring to Leonard Ellaby, was telling people how Roly was gonna knock me out. And my uncles that started me in boxing overheard him. So look at the fight and watch my mom. So that's Javante Tank Davis' response to, uh, I, I would say a fan, uh, looking at the situation with him and Floyd Mayweather. Now, I'm not sure if this is true or not. I can't really say because, uh, you know, I wasn't there, but a lot of us wasn't there. Uh, I don't know if this was taken out of context, but honestly, I've never heard Leonard Ellaby say anything uh, derogatory to towards uh, Javante Tank Davis in public. Uh, even when they were even when they were promoting the fight, you know, he would, you know, give both guys their props because they're both signed to the promotion company. And I never heard Ella, Leonard Ellaby step out of line. So I don't know, uh, like I said, if this is true or not. Now, the situation with him and Floyd Mayweather, you guys know they have a complex situation. You know, they've had their ups and their downs. And I always thought that, you know, Tank being the younger guy, you know, he goes on social media and, and vents his frustrations. Uh, I'm more of an old school guy. I, I would say, you know, if you have problems uh, in your camp, you know, you guys handle that behind the scenes, you know. Talk it out. Work it out uh, if you can. If you can't, you know, you move on. So I'm under the impression that Tank's not with uh, Mayweather Promotions uh, because we haven't heard Floyd mention him. But we, we did hear Floyd say that, you know, he... You know, he just wants to, you know, live a peaceful life, basically. I think he posted something about that. I can't remember exactly what he said. But uh, all I've ever seen Floyd Money Mayweather do when it comes to Tank Davis is uh, promote him in good faith, uh, big him up, uh, be there when he needed him, even at ringside. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know the situation going on behind the scenes between the two. But the impression I get is that, you know, he wanted Javante Tank Davis to walk in his footsteps and apparently that's not happening apparently there's a rift there we've seen Javante Tank Davis uh, diss Floyd Money Mayweather numerous times and now Floyd doesn't even mention him and, I, and I've heard a lot of people say when Floyd did show up to the fights uh, when he did show up to the press conferences uh, they would say you know Floyd's trying to hog the spotlight from from Tank then when Floyd kind of took a back seat, then people would say, you know, why isn't Floyd here? Floyd needs to be here. So uh, 
Floyd Mayweather can't win in a situation like this. So it's, it's best for him to just stay radio silent. And like I said, I've never heard him have anything derogatory to say to Tank Davis. Now, like I said, Tank Davis is a younger guy. You know, younger people do things different differently than than older people would handle things. You know, like I said, he's Vince, Vince's frustrations out on social media. And a lot of young people do that. I mean, that's that's to be expected. And I think, you know, as you get older uh, with age, you learn to you know kind of keep things, you know, under wraps. Everybody doesn't need to know about the dirty laundry going on behind the scenes. But uh, guys, I just wanted to share that with you uh, to give you, I guess, a little bit more insight on to what's going on with the, you know, TMT promotions and Javante Tank Davis. It just, you know, it just seems to keep going and going and going. So I don't know how this is going to end. I'm not sure if Tank Davis is even signed to Mayweather promotions. So maybe he is. He says he isn't. Uh, we don't really have any clarity on this. So we're going to wait and see uh, what Leonard Ellaby has to say about this. Uh, you know, to be fair to him, we can't just say just because somebody said that, that he actually said that. Uh, it could be something taken entirely out of context, but I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments section about what Tank Davis had to say. Uh, let me know about what you think about Tank Davis's next fight with uh, Hector Luis Garcia. Let's talk about it in the comments section, guys. It's the ZMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.